Are you interested in learning how to put together a wonderful photo slideshow like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I will show you how. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and I will reply to your comments. So let's get started. So in order to pull off this effect, we need photos. So drag down the first one and use it as image. Then in order to get rid of the black space by the side, right click on it and go to crop and zoom. Then you choose system by nine. And as you can see, it's full. Now drag down the, your first image and leave a space. Drag down the second and the third, depending on how many you want. Make sure you leave a space and you stretch it. Now double click on it and I'll change the position on the screen. Just click and drag. One to the right and the second one to the left. So leave, leave a space and drag this, your second image or your third image to the screen. Now minimize it and centralize it. Then we need to add border. So search for border, go to utility, you get border, drag it down and drop it on it. And double click on it and make some arrangement, some adjustment to the border. When you're done, you click OK. Now let's bring down our next image. So let's bring down our next image drag it and drop it on, uh, on top of the other ones as the second one then leave double click on it and arrange it on the screen double click on the one on the screen position it over to, to the right and the second one you move it to the left adjust it position it and make sure it's well positioned Double click on the second one and also do the same to the second image. Position it well on the screen. So when we're done, all right, click OK. So we need to bring down more images, drag it and drop it on top, expand it, double click on it. Then we need to resize it, resize it, and we need to add border to it. Drag down border and drop it on it. By the way, you can go to utility, that's where you get border. Or you can type it in the search engine, in the search of effects. So you can double click on it and adjust it when you're done. Let's see what we got. So we can drag down more images. Let's drag the more images. Just the same way. Make sure you leave a space. Okay. If you done the effect to not work, now double click on it and double click on it and make some arrange some adjustment. Move the first one to the to the left, the second one to the right, and leave the one in the middle. Oops, it seems like you we're using the same image twice. So I think I'm gonna delete one of them and bring in another one. You can you doesn't matter anyway. But let's bring in another image. So first of all, let's delete the one in the middle. I'll drag in another image. Alright, expanded and alright. I think it's looking nice. Now let's drag then the last one. You can drag as many images as you want, but we want to make some changes to this. Let's add cycle. So all you need to do is to go to utility and you find it there. Drag it and drop it. I will make a cycle with the image right there. So double click on it and go to video and yeah, either you can make some changes to it if you want, but I'm gonna leave it like this. The next thing I wanna add is uh,
shadow. So I'll click on shadow, click on shadow and make the adjustment. I want the shadow to be under, not by the side. So you need to do adjust it and all these arrows you click the, the one facing down right there and now we have our border under it I think is okay we're, we're cool with this images right so make some adjustment at the end let's make sure they are aligned okay when, we, when you're done the second thing we need to do we want the images to disappear one after the other so all we need to do is to adjust it from the up from the front uh, no not from there let's start from from the top so drag it minimize it you shift it a little bit minimize it so that by the time it finish it finishes playing the objects or the photos will disappear one after the other so make sure the first one is is little bit inside so when we're done you can pre-render it and let's see how it is all right I think it's so far it's looking nice right all right now we need to add motion to it now just double click on it and go to motion now we're gonna apply motion to each and every one of them now this motion you don't you don't have to be too specific here. all you need to do is to go go through it one after the other double click it click on the up on um, the image and double click it once you get the one that suits you so just take your time go through them one after the other you don't have to do exactly what I did all you need to do is to go through the images one after the other you click on the image and you go to to motion and you double click on it and it will show on the preview uh, screen there so if it's okay you keep it if you don't like it you go and change it until you get exactly what you want and you can you can slow down my and also follow exactly what I did right there so you can do the same So we can adjust the uh, the background and just animate it so that it will be also in motion. All right, let's check out what we got. All right, I think it's interesting. So that's not all. We can add. We can add sound effects to it so all you need to do is to drag it down one after the other and drop it right under it make sure you check it's right under the images your arrangement should be should align so drag them down one after the other and drop it and the last thing we can do to it is we can add music 
so go ahead drag them music and add it to the last timeline and voila you're good to go here is the result So thank you for watching this video. If you find it valuable, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and leave a comment below and I will join you in the conversation. And don't forget to watch the video on the screen right now that we have picked for you. I'm sure you're going to like it. See you in the next video.